Hey everyone, really exciting news. If you are a renter out there or if you are a landlord, we have breaking news that an eviction moratorium has been extended by the Biden administration for the next two months. Even though that order might be illegal, and I'll tell you why, it still is in effect for right now. And also, what's the deal with the rent assistance? We've heard about this $43 billion that's supposed to help you with your back owed rent or your future rent, or if you're a landlord, help get some of your tenants on that so that you can get paid back. But only three billion of the 43 billion has been distributed. All of those things we're discussing in this video, the two are interrelated. So be sure to stick around and find out more. My name is Kevin Conway. I make personal finance videos and other stimulus news videos all the time. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want the very latest updates that are important and relevant to you. So what's the deal right now? Well, President Biden recently said that he did not have the legal authority to extend the eviction moratorium past the Saturday expiration. That came from a Supreme Court decision issued a few months ago that said you needed Congress to authorize an extension of the CDC eviction moratorium. Well, that was the letter of the law, but President Biden went ahead and extended it on paper anyway. Now, what does this exactly mean for you? Well, it'll take a few weeks to go through the courts and actually strike this down as more than likely unconstitutional, but until then, it is in effect. Now, why did President Biden do this in the first place? Well, obviously, everybody knows that virus cases are now surging once again throughout the country, and many progressive Democrats on Joe Biden's side said that he needs to extend this eviction moratorium to protect people who cannot or uh, cannot work or cannot find childcare and are at risk for losing their position in housing. They need to have an eviction protection. So what is this eviction moratorium and does it apply to you? Well, if you're a renter, then 90% chance it will affect you because 90% of the renters throughout the country are affected in this eviction moratorium. That means you cannot be evicted for your non-payment of rent if you're covered under certain criteria. Number one, you must be living in an area with substantial or high spread of the virus. Now, how can you determine whether or not you are in a substantial or high area? Well, there's a link below that you could use. It's on the CDC's website. You could see if your area is covered more than likely if you live in any sort of moderately sized city or town, it's going to be covered here. Now, the second thing is you need to qualify under the same standards as the last eviction moratorium, meaning you must make below $99,000. That is another criteria for the eviction moratorium. But that's not all you need to do. You actually need to have a declaration of hardship. You need to fill out an actual form and send it to your landlord. Otherwise, you're not covered. So you need to take those three steps in order to do so. Now, keep in mind that this eviction moratorium, this order is likely unconstitutional according to the experts out there. You don't exactly know for certain, but more than likely, once it makes its way through the courts in the next couple of weeks or even months, it'll be struck down and Congress is going to be responsible for initiating an eviction moratorium if they choose to do so. Now, there's infighting between the Republicans and Democrats, but more significantly for this issue, since the Democrats have total control of Congress, there's infighting amongst the moderate and progressive Democrats. Some moderate Democrats do not want to extend the eviction moratorium, whereas the progressive Democrats do. So that's something to keep in mind on a going forward basis. In addition to that, again, if you live in an area with substantial or high spread of the virus, that has to last for a period of time. If it dips below there for at least 14 days, you are no longer going to be covered under this eviction moratorium. You have to be in an area that has substantial or high spread for at least a period of time in a 14 period time window. Additionally, keep in mind, this is a federal rule. Your state may be different. For example, I live here in California and this California state government has already had their eviction moratorium extended past the time. I'm reading right here, if you live in Massachusetts, Nevada, New York, Oregon, they're temporarily banning evictions against those with a rental assistance application pending. So if you applied for rent assistance, if you applied to get money to help with your rent or your back owed utilities, you are temporarily halted from being evicted, which leads me into the next portion of this video, which is what is the status of the rent assistance? I made a video before on how to apply for rent assistance, and that applied to basically every locality. All you really need to know from that video 
video is you need to Google rent assistance in your town and then look at what website pops up first on Google. It'll likely be the case that you go to that website, you fill out your application, you need to meet certain criteria, you apply and then you wait. But the problem is you have to wait. And that's what's happened to so many millions of people out there. An estimated 11 million people are behind on their rent and only 3 billion of the $43 billion allocated for this rent assistance program has actually gone into people's hands. So if you've applied and you've been waiting, you are not alone. This is common amongst all of the people out there waiting for rent assistance, which is part of the reason why this eviction moratorium was extended. So many of the people who are scheduled to be evicted would have been covered and uh, actually been caught up with their rent had this rent assistance program been distributed in the way that the federal government originally wanted it to be. But the problem was they left it in charge of localities. They gave money from Washington over all of these different localities all throughout the country. It was very confusing for people to apply. The general criteria were out there. And again, they're in that video if you want to check it out. I'll link it here and the material was there, but the problem was they didn't actually know how to distribute this money, get it from point A to point B. So those are the major updates here with the eviction moratorium and rent assistance program. Many things will be occurring in the next few days or even week or two, both with these programs and also new legislation that could potentially help you, including new stimulus checks, potentially, we don't know new extensions of unemployment insurance. Again, we do not know. All of this could be covered in the $3.5 trillion bill that is making its way through the Senate right now, likely will be passed via reconciliation. And of course, the corresponding infrastructure bill, which is another trillion dollars for roads, bridges, broadband, and many other things as well. That's to say there's literally trillions of dollars that's making its way right now through Congress and is going to pass at least in part, maybe in full. And you're gonna to wanna to stay on top of that. So please subscribe to this channel and like this video if it helped you out and share it with anybody that you think it might benefit. Leave any comment below with any questions you have. I'll do my best to answer them. And for that, I'll see you next time. Thanks.